So in this tutorial we are going to change the hard drive of Lenovo Jet 15. So first of all you need to remove these three screws from the bottom of the bottom cover. Then you can just push the back cover off. And next you should remove the battery so it doesn't do any damage to the electric devices inside. So next to remove the hard drive you need to remove these four screws from the hard disk trail. Then the hard drive and this hard drive will just pop out. So the next step is to remove these four screws from the hard drive. Next step is to take the hard drive and you have to have the arrows to the way where the ports are located. And now it's ready. Because I still want to use my old 1000 gigabyte hard drive, um, I bought this um, hard drive caddy tray. So I will take off the DVD drive and um, I will just get more hard drive memory. So the first thing is to open these screws from the sides. So the hard drive will have more space to move. Then you just put it here and gently push it so there, there is a lock sound. And next you will just have to screw these things close. So 
so it will um, it will not move inside the device so much No, it's solid and it doesn't move inside the device. So the next step is to put the SSD inside the device. Just push it in so it locks. Then you have to find your screws. And just lock it back so it won't accidentally move inside the laptop or get removed You should also add this plastic frame so it reduces the movement inside the laptop. And check that the screws are closed and that's pretty much how to put an SSD inside a laptop of Lenovo Z15 so next we are gonna remove the DVD drive from the Lenovo laptop because we are gonna change an hard drive inside it so just remove this screw and then the DVD drive will just come off and it's that easy. So <clears throat> for the next step you would need to remove the screws from the DVD drive and then you would get like this metal kind of pin which you can put in the hard drive. And also when you disassemble the DVD drive, you can gently pull out this um, plastic cover so it doesn't make your laptop look, laptop look weird after putting the new caddy inside. So we don't need the DVD drive anymore. Um, we just need to So pretty much I just removed the DVD plastic cover from the DVD drive and drive and this um, thing that holds the hard drive or the old DVD drive inside the laptop. So we just gonna put it back inside and see how it's gonna work out. So okay, after um, removing these screws, um, it made it easier to push the DVD drive inside. I mean the hard drive to the old DVD drive place. Now I can just screw these back together. I can put the cover 
on the hard drive. Went there. So that's pretty much how you change the hard drive caddy to the DVD slot and make more room inside your laptop for so next we are gonna add more RAM inside the laptop so just to show you how you can remove old RAM if you have less I have 8 gigabytes inside my laptop so you just press these engines And it comes off it's pretty much the same how you put it back inside so you just press it inside you can see it's like this and then you just carefully press down so these hinges will put it back so here's four gigabytes of more RAM memory so we're just gonna put it same way but it's a bit different since it's the other way around, so that's how easily you can add more RAM inside your laptop. Then we just put the back cover to your laptop, so it is very easy to add more hard drive space memory or possible change the DVD drive to a Blu-ray drive. 